Hello learners and welcome to week four. And this week we are going to begin our formative assessment and the competition. All right, so this week will be a little bit stressful, but I'm sure you'll all manage because you're all excellent learners. So at the beginning of the week, we're going to do a revision and OP. This was discussed in the previous unit, but we're going to discuss it further and you shall receive an email highlighting how can we evaluate sources based on O and P. And as you've, as you've noticed during English classes, we've went several times to the library. Thank you to Ms. Manal for taking her time and effort to help us evaluate resources to identify their um, uh, their value and their limitation and whether we can use them. And obviously, when we start with evaluating, the first thing we need to do is to identify the origin of the source and then the purpose of the source. So in this class, we're going to discuss uh, origin and purpose. Okay, we're going to uh, highlight what is meant by origin and purpose and evaluate it in terms of whether the purpose of this uh, resource is perhaps to inform or to persuade or to raise awareness, all right? Why, why do we need this, all right? So here you'll need to write a very small paragraph about it. There's another video explaining it uh, with providing an example that may be effective and essential. This is an activity from the book. So we're going to take a look at how might we assess you in terms of critical thinking and OP. So we're going to get you a random resource for your formative that you haven't seen before. You'll need to look at it and try to evaluate what is the origin of the source. So where did this come from? Who wrote it? When was it published? This has to do with origin. Purpose would have to do why was it written? What is the purpose? Who's the target audience? Who would be interested in this and to begin with, all right? So always ask yourself the following questions, all right? The second class, all right, will be a formative assessment that aims to assess the following. Now, as you've noticed, there's a word wall, which is very important because it tells you what are we going to focus on. So we're going to focus on your ability to analyze Describe, discuss, evaluate, explain, identify, and interpret. So you'll need to study from the book, um, the definition of a map, the role of the person that creates a map, how the person that creates a map may have different perspectives in terms of how to read a map and how they perceive the world around them. And we've said some interesting examples in class move on to the types of maps. How can I differentiate between the types of maps? What are some similarities and differences between maps, right? Because if you notice a topographical map includes two features that are evident within another map, such as physical and political, okay? We're going to discuss, uh, you need to identify grid, scale, direction, and so on. So you're going to evaluate, explain, identify, and interpret. Please take your time and click on the presentation. These videos will be very helpful as they highlight what we've taken throughout the unit. The questions, the exam style will come in this form. Identify the type of map. So what type of map is this? Distinguish between this map and a roadmap. What is the difference between this map and another roadmap? And what is and a roadmap? What do you think the purpose and aim of this map? Why do people use this map? Okay, what identify the map scale? Okay, what what is the map scale? So you need to take a look here. All right, calculate the distance between Ottawa and Toronto. So you'll need to have a ruler here to distinguish the distance, and then calculate it based on the scale. So expect questions to come in this form. After the formative, the competition begins. As promised and stated, this unit will be a bit more fun. I put Judge Judy here because the teachers will be the judges of which presentation was more effective and efficient and entertaining and engaging, because only one group from each section 
will be chosen to present to elementary students about the types of maps. So they'll have the role of the teacher and they need to make sure it's engaging. So we're going to assess your creativity here and your final product. And this will be a very fun competition because we're going to watch you present and the students will watch you present and they will assess your performance. So I wrote here what you should include in your map in your, uh, sorry, PowerPoint presentations about map, maybe include the trivia that may be fun for elementary students. All right, I wish you all the best and have a lovely week.